Let's see how this goes. It's a little heavier than the conventional ripstick. Wow, it started first pull, it actually has some torque, and it looks pretty sexy with that pink wheel on there. Oh yeah, this is the break-in period. Absolutely the most terrifying and sketchy thing I've ever rode in my life. We'll try it again. I popped the tire, I popped the tire. <laughs> Too much power. Ate it right up. That thing actually made it around the block. So did I, I didn't die. Success. This is a death trap though for sure. It's got the sexy pink crim. It's got the red contrast. It's got the nice new 49cc engine that has about 0 0.02 hours on it. This is the current kill switch. You just go ahead and ground that right to the engine when you want to turn it off. Here's your throttle cable that I made from scratch. Here's the gas tank I put on the other side to kind of balance it out. There is a lot of weight though considering when you only have your foot here. This is a lot of weight to to move with your foot. Usually you just have like a skateboard or a snowboard or something like that, but now I have an extra 10 pounds that I have to kind of balance, so that's kind of sketchy. This is my skid plate for the engine so that I can just let it fall on the ground without scratching it all up. This is the peg to start it. You put your foot right there, then you can grab it here without having the engine pull up off the ground. The brakes are not currently engaged. The cable is just right here. I have to make a cable for that, but I went ahead and put brakes on it. It currently is the ugliest thing ever to survive, but that's how everything looks before you go ahead and paint it up. You grind it all down, give it a nice paint job, things gonna look sharp. Toys R Us is gonna wanna carry this. The Brad Board, 2016, brought to you by 3D Machines. You definitely need an insurance policy though. Hope you guys liked the first video, more to come. Let me know what you guys think of the Brad Board. Would you buy one? 3D Machines out, see you tomorrow.